Increasingly, the real world and the digital world are overlapping. More and more data is being stored in the cloud and everything is growing more complex. Factories are getting smarter. According to Henning Kagerman, who coined the term Industry 4.0, that's a security risk. It makes you more vulnerable to open up and connect through the Internet. The big question then becomes whether systems linked to the net are critical ones. Whether a hacker or an attacker might suddenly be able to paralyze entire structures at a factory like its logistics system and so on. But there are also benefits to so-called advanced manufacturing. If machines and components can communicate, production can be precisely calculated. That increases resource efficiency, reduces the need for raw materials and lowers a factory's environmental impact. In a truly digital economy, everything is connected. How can we harness these concepts in today's production techniques? You could say that the Internet, products and services are moving into the factory. That's what Industry 4.0 means. At the Hasso Plattner Institute, a centre for IT systems engineering in Potsdam, researchers are helping business owners with digital strategy. Most of them aren't aware of how diverse the dangers are in cyberspace. Many attacks are aimed at stealing data. Others are aimed at what we call denial of service, paralyzing a company's network. Some are trying to steal entire concepts through the Internet. That's when it enters the realm of industrial espionage. And it's really easy because anyone who's connected to the Internet can be active in the Internet. You no longer have to physically break through a locked door into a secure site. You can pursue your illicit activities through an Internet connection. Companies have to confront these problems in order to make their data more secure. An analysis of weak spots is a good place to start. That's why the researchers developed a free online security checkup. The most interesting thing about it is we've collected all the most important weak points in one place. These can also be read electronically, and the analyses can be carried out automatically. That means you no longer have to keep checking exactly which programs or versions are installed on your computers. Everything's evaluated automatically. Future programs in smart factories won't just evaluate processes, but also staff. Tasks performed by individual workers can be recorded and analysed, laying the groundwork for the transparent employee, a topic that will likely be addressed by unions. Another major question is how many jobs will even be available in intelligent factories? Nobody wants to hazard a guess. Will everyone still have jobs? That's a big worry. You often hear that many of a company's staff will continue to be needed after changes. But will it be everyone? Will everyone working in a factory today be able to make the jump? The risks of Industry 4.0 were also a topic at the Potsdam Conference for National Cyber Security. An ongoing tidal wave of innovation is changing the ground rules, warns Henning Kagerman, and no company is immune to the dangers the issues have to be addressed. That won't be a problem for big companies, but the big worry in Germany is how to get the mid-sized firms, the Mittelstand, on board in time. They're the key to our success. In the end, meeting the challenges of Industry 4.0 will be about striking the right balance between innovation and security.